keep it secrets to different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching this with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Now, listen, before we get into the video, you already know what we need to do, man. Let's go ahead and drop this like, all right? Get this video to 1,000 likes, and also 60K soon in June. Let's go ahead and subscribe up. Let's hit 60K way before the end of June. Okay, a lot of my nephews and nieces, y'all constantly watch my videos because they are recommended a lot when it comes to 2K. But y'all might not know that you're not even subscribed. I've seen that a lot in the comment section. So let's go ahead, click the subscription, click the bell notification, and drop a like, all right? Drop a like for your old head, Uncle Demi, and for the Rare Bill movement, and for what I got going on on this channel, okay? I drop videos every single day. I have not missed one day since NBA 2K20 has been out. So hopefully you appreciate that. Even throughout this quarantine, I'm giving y'all good content to watch on a daily basis. So hopefully you appreciate that. And you can drop a like for me, man, all right? Now let's get straight into this video. We're gonna be talking about the scoring machine made out of the pure green pie chart. <coughs> Excuse me, I know for a fact that no one has seen this type of build before, a pure green scoring machine build, all right, out of the pie chart. I believe that this is something that once again, that when someone sees the name, they're gonna assume that it's gonna be a finishing and shooting pie chart. And then of course, when they see that you are having a 99 three-point shot and a 99 mid-range shot, then all of a sudden they're gonna be like, yo, like this build's a little bit different because I don't understand how it can shoot like this, all right? So let's just get right into it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the pure green, like I said, for the scoring machine build, right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the speed because obviously, listen, when you're making anything that has green in it, you know you're gonna lack any type of um, athletic ability. So you wanna make sure you can at least have the speed, which will give you the opportunity to speed boost because that's what you really need, all right? Then what you wanna do is you wanna max out the top four, all four, max them all out. All four of these max them all out. Then you wanna max out your mid range, your three point shot. You wanna go ahead and go 89 on your free throw and then max out the rest because that's gonna give you right at 30 okay then what you want to do is this is the secret you want to go 79 on your pass accuracy then you want to max out everything here that's gonna give you right at 13 and then what you want to do is you want to max out your perimeter your lateral quickness and your steals all right so as you can see you have 2 30 13 and 1 okay now again this build is extremely rare this is basically, like I said, one of those type of builds where if you are um, looking for a, a build that can shoot at all levels, meaning, hey, you know, it doesn't matter where you're at, you can just throw up fadeaway threes. I mean, listen, guys, a 95 three-point shot, basically we hit 99, um, not 99.9, but just 99, you have a 99 mid-range and 99 three-point shot. That is breaking the game, that is glitchy. And the post fade at a 94 along with post moves. I think that is just ridiculously toxic, okay? Now, when we go into the build, you wanna go build or you wanna go bulky, all right? Because when you lower your weight, I just don't wanna look sick. And you know, if you don't understand what I'm saying, so I know some of y'all in the comic section say that, let's say for instance, you just go with slight, okay? You already look small. Then all of a sudden you drop your weight all the way down and just look how you look. I mean, like your arm, like you don't even like you have biceps at 170, okay? So, but check this out. When you go to bulky and you drop your weight to 170, look how you look. That doesn't look that bad, right? It looks pretty decent. Now, I mean, me, I'm just, I'm gonna tell you a person like, you know, Deion Sands, you have to say, listen, if you look good, you play good, right? And that's just how I feel. I just wanna look good when I'm out there. I don't wanna look sick. So that's why I do that. Hopefully you understand that. Then what you wanna do is with your wingspan, you wanna go to just all the way down to 75, right? So now the cool thing is, is this, you will have, once you hit nine, like you will get a plus nine on your speed. So that means you will have a 92 speed 
with an 86 ball handle so of course you're going to be able to speed boost with this build and that's what's really going to set this build apart this is basically guys just a playmaking shot creator with with um or a sharp shooting facilitator or a pure green th three level score that basically um <clears throat> can be able to you know shoot and play at the top of the key as far as pick and roll this is a pick and roll type build where you definitely want to take advantage of doing the fades okay you want to fade to the left side get a screen run and fade to the right side right this is basically one of those cheesy builds that you want to try to you know you want to take advantage of so when you look at your um your finishing okay that is not necess necessarily something you really want to stress about because this build is meant to be on the perimeter shooting threes and fadeaways you're not meant to go into the basket to try to sit there and um sit there and try to get dunks or anything like that so that's what makes this build relevant if you like annoying and you see what annoying does and you see what ticino does okay these individuals do not have a lot of defensive badges where they are very dominant is on the offensive side okay so if this is a build that you want to have fun with if you want to have a rare build name and you want to be able to have a rare build pie chart to go with it this will be one of those ones that you can have fun with now let's take it let's, let's be honest it's june okay right so you know we're waiting for 2k21 and you still want to play the game you want to have fun with it sometimes it's good to make different type of builds like this okay so what we want to do is then when it comes here you have sharp shooting takeover or you have shot creating takeover my nephews and nieces go with shot creating right so shot creating is going to be really fun because you're able to do the hop steps to be able to get ankle breakers and of course it's going to help you with your fadeaways shooting these crazy mid-range and three-point shots okay so that's what you want to go with and there you have it my nephews and nieces this is a scoring machine out of the pure red i mean sorry pure green pie chart okay so now let's go ahead and test this build out real quick all right let's give them the 99 and then of course we can talk about these badges right so let's give them the 99 what you want to do here with your badges my nephews and nieces is just go ahead and get silver contact finisher it's not anything that you're really going to be using so don't even worry about it it's just like you said when you get most of the time you're going to try to shoot close shots or mid-range shots you're not going to even try to get dunks here of course you want to go quick draw you want to go range extender you want to go hot zone hunter you want to go green machine you want to go difficult shots of course you want to go dead eye you want to go volume shooter and then you have two left over so that we could probably even go i guess with tyler's shooter i guess oh no 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 i'm sorry go corner specialist because when you're going in the corner shooting fadeaways that helps you out a lot with corner specialist so then this is a stack that i would go with all right i mean op like i said this is extremely toxic all right if you're able to max this out and get all these badges you're going to thoroughly enjoy this because that's a lot of badges to work with and then here of course you want to get your space creator you want to get your quick first step you want to get your handles for days i think these are the most important this is what you're going to need especially with takeover also if you wanted to Go ahead and get Ankle Breaker because that could help you out a lot with Ankle Breaker and then Bronze Bailout. I will not necessarily think so highly with Unpluckable because, again, this build is meant for screens. So when you're getting someone setting screens for you, you're not ISOing. There's not a lot of opportunities for them to pluck you anyway because all you're doing is just trying to fight and work behind screens. Okay, so this will be kind of the stack that I would go with. Um, again, and I tell you all the time, this is your build. You can do it any way you want. I know a lot of y'all have some tons and tons of amazing ideas. I see them all the time in the comment section. So by all means, if you have a different type of setup, just go ahead and do it. This is just how I would do it, okay? Now keep in mind, I'm also be a legend, so I have 23 of these. So that's also something to keep in mind. Your one defensive badge, I would just say just go on Bronze Interceptor. This build is not meant to play in us like offense. That's not an offensive type build. Of course, as a legend, this is where it's really dope because I would have 11 of them. But for my nephews and nieces that, are, that aren't hitting legend, of course, this is something that you need to work with. Then stand in the corner, right, and let your... um your center your 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 lockdown play the defense and you just play corner defense and just work on trying to intercept the pass okay but there you have it my nephews and nieces this is a score machine out of the pure green pie chart right hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel 60k soon in june and then listen i stream every single day on twitch make sure you tune in to me on twitch because i have some really 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 good bangers going on and i play with all these rare builds on twitch so make sure you tune to me in on twitch other than that this is your man uncle demi i'll be back really really soon another banger you know when i say i'll be back soon another banger you know exactly what day i'm talking about man i'm talking about tomorrow i'm out